Hey everybody, welcome to the Motor Reviews. Uh, today we're reviewing this here pad on these contacts. Uh, this is the Ferro Concepts Pad Comms Over the Head. And this is pretty cool. Why I think this is neat and why I picked this up is it brings something to the table that uh, some of these pads in the past didn't. It's a little thinner than some of the pads I've seen in the past and I've used. And it's got these laser cut channels that allow you to kind of get your cord out of the way if you don't have something like these <clears throat> on here. If you didn't want to put Velcro, it didn't have Velcro on here. It lets you kind of route stuff up here without adding an extra bulk of like sewing one inch one inch strips all over it and pieces of like a quick like like a plastic hardware and shit. Uh, these little laser cut holes are great and they allow you to do some cord management so you can run this ear pro at the range and be good to go. But this pad also gives you just enough padding to make this a little more comfortable and also wear these under a helmet. Other pads I've used in the past, they're really thick and wearing them under a lid just sucks. This one doesn't do that. I actually thought this was quite comfortable under a lid. As long as you arrange your pads properly, it's not bad at all. The air mesh here does wick, sweat away, it does breathe better. There's some of the pads, the old pads I used to have, they just had this solid like felt material here and that just got real swampy. This doesn't do that. So I'm gonna yank this cord out of here and we're gonna talk about the pad itself. So this one is a little bulky and um, I've got it all taped up because I was using it in a different way. So this is not really how it would normally go. Well, it'd be a lot easier to run the cord. I'll show you on the other pair. I got another pair of Swordens over here that are fake ones. Uh, this is a real set. Installing is not hard, but it's not easy either. I guess once you get it kind of set, it will work better. Let me get these guys out of here. So the pad itself is a simple envelope. You've got these five channels here in the uh, squadron. They're cut in. That's where you can run cords and shit to get them out of the way if you want to wear these as ear pro or if you just unhook your comps, you can just route them up and they get it out of the way. And it's kind of cool, especially if you don't have uh, your headset set up like I have mine where I've got these like little um, ear keepers. I think this one, one of these is the Crypt. The other one is the uh, Obscura. I'll put little cards that'll pop up and to both those, because I got one on each side. If you're curious about these things, they're pretty neat. Since we're talking about comms and wires and pads and stuff, uh, little cards will pop up for both these that are on this headset right here. If you're curious about these items as well. Even though this review is not about these, but still. I know some of you might be like, well, what are those? Those are neat. So, But yeah, so if you don't run a set like this, and you want to be able to manage your wire and your cable, well, that's where this will come into play. So you've got all these little cuts for that. The pad's not super thick, but it's not really uh, thin either. And like I said, this air mesh stuff here breathes way better than the old felty stuff. And the squadron laminate is just a lot lighter too. Back in the day, they used to put like one inch all over these things, like in different increments so you can put your wires under them. And they would sew like the little U-shaped plastic hardware on them to hang them off your belt and stuff. And it just added ex excess bulk. And you couldn't, really, you couldn't really wear one of one of those fancy pads under a lid if you really wanted to. It was just annoying. And with this, with one of these holes, you could still clip this to like a carabiner off your gear if you really wanted to. Actual construction is really nice. Stitching's really good. You simple, you know, your Faro label here so you know it's real. Comps pad over the head. Made in the USA. Supporting some of y'all out there. Loop right here, all multicam. So it all matches and matches and looks all pretty. So I've got an Airsoft set of comps here. You probably recognize this from a recent review. This is a ZTAC ComTAC set. I give you a good idea of how. This thing would kind of be with a better wire as far as setting this up. So, let's see if we get this guy on here properly. Not quite the spec, but eh, what are you going to do? Okay, so we'll start all the way. It's going to take some finagling. Um, like I said, you got to kind of get it on here and then you got to like finesse it. Once you get it on, it takes some, some sweet loving. 
to make this thing really get on here the way you want it. Which also makes it kind of a pain in the balls to work on sometimes. I recommend you start in the center and then work your way out to the edges. It makes it a lot easier to get it on properly. And once you get it on, just kind of, you know, tamp it down. What's off camera? Oh, well. You tamp it down, just kind of smooth it out. And then it's good. And with this wire being not as taped up and bulky, it's easier to show you how these laser cuts are uh, better to use for managing uh, your, little, your little pieces, your little pieces here, making them look all nice. Bring the wire up in here. I can shove this back down through itself. Like, I'll fist fuck that in there. Like, get in there. What are you doing? Get in there. Boop, boop, boop. Whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect. But that way, you can kind of look like a nerd with your wires hanging out the top of your, your headset at the range. But like I said a second ago, uh, I think I said it, don't use this as the range because you will uh, regret it because this will not protect your hearing and you will die. Uh, use this as the range. This is a real one. This is for the range. This is for fun. This is for Airsoft. Never use this for ear pro the range because uh, your ears will explode. But this is kind of how this thing works. Very cool. I like it. It gets the wire up out of the way and you can still run your comps as ear pro, quote unquote, if this was real. Uh, for airsoft, you're not going to run your pro like this. Let's be honest. That's just, unless you're just trying to LARP as a range, which I don't know why the fuck you would do that. Uh, they just look silly. And the only way I would use this is for padding under my lid to give me just a little more comfort instead of that metal fucking uh, headband, which sucks. Uh, that's all I got, guys. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did... Definitely consider subscribing if you like this content. A little helmet's going to pop up in the bottom right-hand corner. That's the subscribe button. And in the top right-hand corner, that is a video I think you'll like that's kind of in the same realm as this guy. Top left-hand corner, that's the most recent video. As always, guys, LARP smarter, not harder. Get out there, play some Airsoft, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.